The 19 Northern States Governors Forum and Traditional Rulers Council has renewed commitment in tackling critical issues bedeviling the northern region, including terrorism, poverty, and youth, resti youth restiveness, calling for a collective action to drive change. The chairman of the forum, who doubles as the Gombe State Governor, Inua Yahya, stated this during the combined forum meeting in Kaduna State. The forum acknowledged recent security progress emphasizing need for job creation, education, and investment in energy infrastructure while warning against complacency. The host, Kaduna State Governor Uba Sani, underscored collective partnership with the federal government to address insecurity and the launching of a FANSA Yama theater operations to tackle root cause. We must all work together to realize our vision of a secure, peaceful, and prosperous law by their president. Bola Metinubu, DCFR, for reinvigorating the war against terrorists, bandits, kidnappers, and other criminal elements in the north. The establishment of a joint military command and launching of Operation Fansanyama are clear demonstrations of the federal government's commitment to decisively tackle the multidimensional challenges of insecurity confronting the north. By working hand in hand, we can overcome the challenges before us and pave the way for a better northern Nigeria. Relatedly, is the unique to holistically place a temporal ban on the sale and use of heavy-duty motorcycles and the closer, uh, the closure of identified cattle markets, so that we identify where these things can be controlled. Because the ability of people to rustle animals and take them and sell them and make money keeps them going. Those are used for terrorist financing and sustainment. The application of these measures across all states will be instrumental to the timely attainment of our operational objectives across. The forum lamented total outage in the region and economic hardship that demand urgent action to address the trend. And bad governance protests that took place in August serves as a wake up call for all northern leaders. Youth restiveness is a growing concern driven by illiteracy poverty, and lack of economic opportunities. Our young people are calling out for change, and it is our responsibility to listen to them and act accordingly. We must scale up efforts to tackle the root causes of youth restiveness by investing in education, skills development, and job creation. Let us focus on creating pathways for the youth to channel their energy into productive ventures. Economic hardship faced by many Nigerians today is undeniable. And considering the North-South disparity in economic balance, it is even more pronounced in Northern Nigeria. This calls for urgent intervention. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.